All right, we're back with this little Acer Veriton model M275. Today we're gonna to perform some upgrades. So you can see right now, that's what it is running. And if we take a look in the device manager, I did add a second drive temporarily, but uh, looks like it has got a 160 gig hard drive right now. might not have been the smartest move, but yeah, that's a 160 gig drive. Here's the CPU and the RAM. I have this 250 gig drive that I'm going to put in there. I've got this uh, 2 gigabyte stick. I know it says 4G, but it's actually a 2 gig stick. It's a kit of 2. I'm going to try. Hopefully I can get it to work. And this Hopefully it's going to be the big upgrade. I didn't even realize I actually had one of these still around. This Core 2 Duo E8400. So we'll give that a try. And uh, we'll install Windows Fresh while we're at it. Slight change of plan with the RAM. As you can see, it's DDR3, not DDR2. So I could give it quite a bit more than the 4 gigs that I did end up giving it. But something like this is probably not going to use that much more. I'm kind of surprised that given it's DDR3, they didn't go with the Core i series chip. But maybe the bill of materials didn't extend that far. Alright. But with the old and with the new, now I just got to get it thermal pasted and get the cooler back on. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it does work, but the fan's not working for some reason. Here we go. It really helps to actually plug it in. So, uh, here's our E8400. Works just fine. Four gigs of RAM. And the hard drive is not detected, again, because I forgot something important. I have not plugged it in. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to plug in my USB stick, which, I, as far as I remember, has got Windows 7 on it. And we'll install Windows 7. Okay, we're back with this thing again. So remember, we were about to try and install Windows 7 in my USB stick. Finally, kicked the bucket. I had this thing probably for about 20 years. Actually, that's not true, but... I'm trying to think when I got this. It was certainly before 2007. Because I've, I've used this for a lot of things over the years. And finally happened, the, uh... The jack broke free from the board, so that's junk. So now we gotta move on to the next one. Now, with any luck, this will actually work. Now if I can find the power. Plug that in. Alright, clean itself on. Still have not cleaned that. Forget which key it is to get. Chassis has been opened. Oh no. I don't remember what key it is to get to the... Oh, it's still not really liking it. I can't remember what it is on this system. There we go. USB. I would like to boot to that, please. Please actually boot to it. Yeah, it looks like that's what it's doing now. I notice that the key on the side of this computer is actually a Windows 10, or sorry, a Windows 7 Pro key. Which I did not realize. Although that it was a Windows 7 Home Premium key. So, somebody spent a lot of money to upgrade this to a Windows 10, or sorry, I keep calling it Windows 10. Windows 7 Pro license. If it was Windows 10, it wouldn't even have the license on the side of it. You put those in the BIOS. And this one might be in the BIOS too, I don't know might SLIC itself. I missed the first use message, but it's the same basic idea. 
It'll be interesting to see what I need in terms of drivers once this is finished. Although Windows Setup was able to run with Aeroglass turned on, so I do hold out some hope. Now, it is probably going to ask me for a product key, and I'm hoping it's going to take the one on the side of the machine. It's taking an awfully long time. Of course, when you get used to SSDs and everything, of course it takes an awfully long time. Because I am, I'm used to, I'm used to having an SSD in pretty much any of my daily use computers these days. So, going back to something like this is almost excruciating. I think this would have been considered a normal wait time back in the day. So it sees the audio, sees the Ethernet. If we take a look. Of course, it's not activated. Oh, it does not see the Ethernet. The Ethernet controller is unknown. All right, well, that's fair. G41 video. We'll go ahead and we'll rate the computer, see what it scores. Here's what it gets. Pretty good on the CPU and RAM. Video leaves a little bit to be desired, but for G41 onboard video, it's not terrible, I guess. And of course, the hard drive is limited to a 5.9 because it's a mechanical drive. I'm surprised it even gets a 5.9 because it's not exactly a fast drive. But it works. So. I'll do the power management. That's the next thing that I always do is turn off all the stupid power management crap because it doesn't do anybody any good. So, but that's it for that. So, thanks for watching, and if you've got any comments, feel free to leave them down below.